Okay, my friends, um, what you're about to hear next is a Carlos. Carlos is from Spain. Uh, Carlos was one of the latest people who arrived to Poland, or maybe at Fujitsu. But I'm pretty certain in Poland, he would not want to stick around much in Poland. He didn't like it to begin with. But I believe that sometimes in 2013, he did his um, dive and he sticked around in Poland to very today. He's employed at Fujitsu in Lodz, Poland. And this gentleman, in my opinion, uh, who was very nice under an theatre, is a really nice person, I think. He is, likes dogs and so on, and this is what you, you're about to hear, it's a little bit about dogs. Believe me, this gentleman was involved in MKUltra. Uh, if I was to dive further, but it's just so much stuff I have to do that there's really no time for that. Uh, if I would be asked, I don't know, by someone to disclose more about Carlos or something like this, and given chance, the opportunity uh, to identify him, I 100% without mistake i can i would i can say this already because i know what i can do and what i cannot uh and so actually i can do more than what i give credit myself to this is what i learned about myself i can do more than uh what i gave myself credit that i actually can perform uh, and so in this case here you're about to hear carlos and now probably you're wondering what this got to do with what uh, you're seeing right there in front of you. And it's about, it's an SMS from my boss, ex-boss Emilia, uh, who is talking about me posting a movie uh, on a YouTube that is not, uh, not good, not good. Uh, please remove, talking about Fujitsu logo, whatever it is, needs to be canceled, talk to you as soon as possible. Uh, kind of a panicking stuff, something I was told also the case is going to be. Um, especially if I will not get along with the people here from the hostel and bra la 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 la, which basically kind of tells me about some other issues here as well. Now, the thing is that these movies now, these are the property of mine and the property of the law enforcement. This is the police property now. This is the property of the people who should investigate this case. Um, this is why this is what the purpose of this audio recordings was this was investigation uh, in which this vibrant team of employees at Lodge Fujitsu helped me out greatly and because I understand their concerns because I understand uh, they might have certain concerns and so on uh, I will actually go ahead and I will do this I will do it uh, they were nice people, a really nice bunch of people. Uh, I'll be more than happy to do uh, as much as I can, whatever I possibly I can, uh, to in some way, if you want, even that jobs they have or jobs they hold because of me personally, uh, help them out, help them out as much as I can. This is how these jobs got to Poland to make myself to you and to Ukraine in later stages through me literally here is what uh, the communication was preceded with mm, yeah um, look this is interesting right uh, could not send this through the place with the virgin mobile basically um, the virgin mobile is providing me with the internet access and they're providing me with uh, phone calls but for some reason since grotniki when i already purchased this card is already old telephone number here in Poland. I never ever was capable to send SMS messages. And it's for that matter, I use another uh, internet provider to do so. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't come in a package or maybe is maybe this is a Virgin Mobile restriction. Uh, maybe, you know, it, nothing really is working. This is the type of element. So now is it possible this is from virgin mobile it is possible i don't want to be i don't want to sound paranoid i never want to do frankly i never was inside of the virgin mobile store so that i would find out details on their service providing yeah um 
so frankly I don't know about that but it's kind of a strange eh? if you get the internet that you could not send SMS messages and so on maybe it's a feature separate it's possible maybe it, it's like this in Poland doesn't matter um, this is why folks if you contact me and you get a response from another number um, another provider this is basically is why okay so uh, the number is however always one number I have used uh, and so I get yet another message here that this isn't about um, this isn't about I also got a message from the YouTube concerned about privacy uh, in respect to the mentioned here Hungarian friend and her ex-husband identified in Fujitsu Lodge uh, that they would want me to consider uh, removing uh, video if I am not certain about uh, the rights uh, as pertaining to this video as the right to publish them and this is why I'm applying to the law enforcement that it's time to step in because these are definitely your proofs the truth is it jeopardizes a privacy of the people itself who have gone ahead uh, and have disclosed this kind of uh, you know proofs about MK Ultra help me out see if I can actually remember uh, something that law enforcement have failed to comply with that's basically the law not only have permitted this thing went on but they have actually even failed to uh, register these things and step in between and do appropriate steps so that politicians could not do against the citizen uh, stuff they do uh, this is basically I'm not gonna go even into what right uh, now what how this pertains to Carlos uh, one of the things identified in this video was the husband of mentioned Hungarian who is 1.95 tall well the very next day when I came at work make no mistake Carlos I have spoken about from Spain also appeared right there next to me he came and he is also 195 too and both Hungarian lady her husband and Carlos were involved in MK Ultra. in fact what I can tell you more details about the husband now too I reminded myself and I got more and more and more when you when you start to concentrate in certain niche and you start to pull uh, information out more and more yeah so am I gonna disclose those details I will not I will not disclose them um, one thing I'm gonna do I want you to see the date and time it's March 25th 2020 this is basically one thing I'm gonna do but am I gonna go and disclose more details I will not I can tell you that at one time her husband Hungarian actually worked inside of this building but it was I believe for another company uh, or it was in another department it was below um, and then he left it was something like this uh, then there was some talk that he is now working for the company or something like this and that he's upstairs or whatever but this I don't think it's legitimate this is not true uh, for that matter Carlos stepped in the very next day whom also of course I have identified um, no dog unfortunately is not from 2013 um, but this man was always down to earth um, he, he was a really present individual to interact with and I have displayed in front of him a uh, lots of prejudice against Poles against the Poland uh, under MK Ultra for obvious reasons for the way they treated me this this has nothing to do with but the prejudice was enormous whenever I had the foreign people around me when I was subjected to MK Ultra in Poland I would actually contemplate to uh, on a physical revolt against the Poles in Poland I have tried to talk a Greek team into physical fight uh, into helping me out obtain some kind of shithole whatever uh, here in Lodz get me out of the 
radar 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 and get me in some place so I can get rid of these drugs and escape from this shithole when I was subjected to MK Ultra. This is how bad it was. Uh, and so uh, whenever I had the opportunity, no, the, these guys are ITs at Fujitsu. They told me no. Um, in my head, it was perception that they were they, they were bigger, stronger. Uh, it was probably because I needed their help so much. Um, it was like this till I came to Greece. And in Greece, what happened was is I insulted them, and so on and so forth. Um, I was pretty damn certain, and this is what Netanyahu did to me. This is maybe a little bit funny. In Slovenia, um, one time we would go for a walk along this beautiful river with a group, and Netanyahu told me, he stopped us and he said, he said, Bobby, he said, Sebastian, uh, are you not going to escape? Are you not going to save yourself? And I said, no, I will not, because there is nothing I can do. What? You have the control over me and this and that. It was literally like this. And this was at the beginning stage of MK Ultra. Netanyahu always had a revolver uh, with him. Uh, he would kind of walk around like a partisan with his gun. And his friends. Uh, talking about Mossad team, his private Mossad team. And he said, are you not going to escape, uh, Bobby? No, I said, how? How am I going to escape? What can I do? And he said, but you are not alone. We are two, he said to me. I said, what do you mean that we are two? I will help you out. The two of us the two of us, we can beat them up. And boy, it did not took me too long to start to contemplating on doing something about it. He was the one who instilled in me this spirit that I should just somehow escape. And whenever I was brought to whatever place I was brought, I was thinking about that I should somehow uh, find uh, escape and, and, and hide myself someplace till the drugs would release and then I would become strong and escape from the picture. Literally, this is why I mentioned this. This is how emotional this shit was. It was a struggle. Uh, well, uh, with Netanyahu, what happened was I, I started to wave uh, toward the rest of the group like a like uh, I attacked the whole group of people uh, and eventually they got me under control and uh, it's kind of a funny stuff he was laughing he was he was in tears laughing about it it's pretty much how he probably got to see me in his in his uh, in his eyes through his eyes this is probably what 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 it was uh, but I can tell you this this is the stuff this this was not a funny stuff okay uh, and this is this is a reality what i'm talking to you about fujitsu uh, about the greek team about the carlos carlos yeah um this is what it was um the hungarian lady um what happened was her husband was polish um I have insulted him in front of her and this and that and he was just a really nice man patient with me and this and that uh, and there was a little turmoil between Hungarian and between Polish uh, in their views and uh, she kind of took uh, at least according to her my side uh, she told me that this is the video already ahead in advance she told me it's gonna have a lot of views and if you look at my uh, video counter at YouTube, which is 100% vacuum sealed completely, uh, this actually have like a 49, 49 views uh, versus compared to other videos, which have like one view or three view or seven view. And you know, this is crazy, but this is what the YouTube is doing. Uh, because this is what they try to desperately to uh, pursue the pick me I guess. 
uh, and will be but will be removed it will be removed from um, uh, from uh, from the picture uh, because especially she said if I get a phone call from the Hungary something like this now the truth is that Hungary did stole my car in 2017 if you remember uh, that was just a plain theft just like this okay uh, however the thing is that um, they did this you can go over my videos and you can see that kind of stuff now the thing is that um, it might not be like this it might be that somebody wanted to, to see Hungary in a, such a light or who knows what there's a lot of speculation a lot of political interests uh, evolved around me and well it's about time for me to get a little more serious about life and see things in more in a way that are gonna benefit me and people around me so um, due to respect for uh, people who somehow did go forward and have submitted this submitted themselves to me uh, as a proof I will do so for Fujitsu team I will do such a thing um, however this is going to be still used for uh, the law enforcement purposes this is this is still uh, something abiding um, MK Ultra torture according to all conventions is a torture uh, it's unacceptable practice uh, but because of this kind of uh, request from someone like this uh, and because of law enforcement not doing what they should have done already uh, I will actually go ahead and have this movie uh, movie uh, video removed uh, at the request of my boss not even at a request of YouTube and it's a funny thing because YouTube does not even offer the chance to do such a thing usually they would have they would give you a letter that you would respond to them uh, access so you could communicate with them in this case they don't give anything uh, they know this is actually not right but all right so we will do it uh, Carlos yeah what was the idea about the Carlos well um, if I would not know the difference between the two I could uh, made a mistake right especially because he was involved in MK Ultra and ask him uh, I should say say and you are her husband right because this is what it happened the next day so it's possible that she did try to set me up with it uh, but the way I feel about it is no I think that she likes me a lot this Hungarian lady I think that she's just doing whatever she's doing because they know what they want to get out of this um, I must warn you all of you that nobody's gonna guide me nobody's gonna guide me um, I will do it I will do it for the mentioned reasons but um, basically this is about it next coming is Carlos uh, from Spain and you can hear me talking a little bit in Spanish language uh, and so on and so forth I interact with him he always loved dogs and he always treated dogs well um, actually actually I think he's got a house not too far from the house is a park which I still remember I could describe that but let's just leave it that way and now what I will do uh, I will play you this audio and we'll go from there this also was recorded at Fujitsu and it was recorded on March 23rd 2020 on my last day of work so on Saturday March the 21st 2020 I have spoken to a Hungarian lady whose husband is 195 according to her and that's pretty tall that's almost 6'4 6'5 it is 
uh, there is no uh, nobody on our floor that would be um, actually at least in a department where I'm working at, uh, and actually also other departments. There's really nobody we are tall. Okay, uh, everybody is about my size less, uh, basically six one eighty three. Uh, or maybe a little over, I don't know, maybe 185. Um, so, something like this. No such thing as tall people as this. Nobody is as tall as this. Really, nobody. Uh, and so, on Monday, so for the following work shift, uh, the next day I sit, not the next day, but the following work shift, the following Monday, uh, I, I come and I sit in front of the computer and it's a gentleman that comes uh, and it's very familiar and sits about four or five meters away from me I don't know about just about four or five meters away from me at the desk um, now it's it's empty uh, people are at home there's just few of us there uh, you're talking about maybe Four people, maybe something like this all together uh, when compared to otherwise would be, um, I don't even know, um, maybe 25, 30 people, I, something like this, I would say. So it's really empty, it's, this coronavirus is what it is. So he sits there and is looking at me and is walking around and this and that and uh, talking about uh, asking about the cigarettes and, and all kinds of stuff but wants to make desperate contact with me um, and so I I I know that he is not he is not I immediately got an idea that what exactly happened on Saturday and basically what's happening right there um, who is this gentleman this gentleman does work on the same floor but he works in a different area it's like I stated um, he decided finally to permanently stay in Poland actually might have even worked in um, I have no idea maybe I have really no idea uh, he's got a definitely a government background from Spain have a bunch of people like this that, that work underground and, and they, they do this stuff like this uh, but I don't know that he worked at uh, Fujitsu uh, in Portugal or something who knows what this gentleman um, I don't really remember where in, in, in Spain wise like what exactly was he doing in Spain I cannot tell you. you I would have to get some more reminder information that I would pull that out of my head it doesn't go that far. Um, for what I know for is that uh, in 2000 he did not want to stay here but in 2013 he somehow decided to stay here and it's probably a lady that, that, that got him. Uh, probably he got some uh, got into a relationship probably with some some Polish lady and and this is how probably he decided eventually to stay here. It's got to be something like this. Um, I don't know what otherwise would keep him around here, really, in Poland. Uh, and so um, I assume that this is what it is, but he was back and forth on and on all the time. And sometimes in 2013, he decided eventually he's going to stay here. This is this according to MK Ultra story. According to him, he's here just like... I don't even know what he says. He's here like what he said. He's here like I, I don't even know. You're gonna hear in continuation two, three years or something like this. No, I, I don't know that he's new or whatever. Um, and so, of course, that this is not husband from Hungarian lady. This is not this Polish guy. This nice guy that. That, that would come and uh, and be around me to help me out. He, he really did 
for the real reasons. And so um, it's a diversity of people involved in this stuff, you know, with, with all kinds of issues ranging from, you know, all kinds of issues involved in this. And so no, uh, he sat there for like about an hour, uh, and I was just busy doing my my, my stuff, my training. Uh, and first of all, I I, I was like. It was like this for me because I immediately knew that this is not the husband and you know he's there he's hanging around talking back and forth trying to get attention and, and I was feeling no you know it's just not gonna happen I'm not gonna go there and ask you I know you you are the husband and this and that it didn't happen this way uh, although I believe some would want it this way but it didn't go through that way and so in continuation, I identified him. Um, like I said, I need, I, I would need some more stuff and I would start to tell about his life more. Uh, but this is, this is completely decent, you know. Basically confirms that I approached him just about one hour after we were in the same area. Uh, I did not fall in for that and yeah he always had dogs a very nice person treated the animals really well always a really nice person Carlos from Spain involved in MK Ultra definitely came with the idea to help me out too um, actually this gentleman dedicated himself way more than what I have described right now he actually demonstrated me um, his home. I can tell you what a dog park looks like, where his home is. I've seen so many homes. But if, if he would tell me, I tell you what, if I would look into, into the area and I would find the dog parts, And I would start paying attention if he would tell me a proximity of his of his uh, house, just a proximity. I don't care. And I would go through that, and I would look through those parts. And before you know, I would point out his house because this is how memory works. You, I'm not uh, I'm not a computer that I would go and say, oh, oh, oh something like this. Uh, in some cases, it was quite like this, but. You really have to go through the memory. You have to associate pictures. You have to see it. You have to see the the location, um, see the area basically, and then plug in memory basically according to what you see. Basically, this is how it works most of the time. This is how it all works. Okay, so you can hear uh, us talking about this kind of stuff. Are you, are you working on a Dutch app? No, it's Spanish Portuguese. Spanish Portuguese, yeah. You, what? No, no, no. I want Slovenia. What, the store, you mean? Yeah. Uh, there is something to do that they're going to have something close for me to do. I'm on training, though. Oh, you're on training? Right. Oh, welcome, welcome. So, uh, Spain and, and Portugal. And Portugal. Sure. Fala Portuguese. Okay. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. So how, if it, if it uh, later, how do you, uh, you have new proprietor, uh, uh, how, how do you serve the market if it's a little? I understand everything. I don't want to speak very well, okay, but I understand everything. Uh, habla español, muy bien. Si. Sí. 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 Where are you from? Slovenia. I am from Slovenia. Soy de Slovenia. Si hablo español también. I'm sorry? Yeah, I like it a lot. I like Portuguese, I like Spanish. Slovenian, Serbian, uh, I mean, Croat, uh, Serbian, British. Pero español me encanta. Sí, sí. Yeah, uh, in Vigas. In Vigas? Yes. Aha, aha. Oh, 